What's up guys? It's Brockton Loaded here. Uh, just want to do another little quick video. Um, this is my Ruger American Predator 65 Creedmoor Magpul stock Super Sniper w, uh, SWFA 10X Vortex Bubble Level. <clears throat> and uh, so I've been using a little cheat sheet like you've all seen. Um, everybody's seen it. Just a little piece of paper cut out, draw your reticle. Put your holdovers on there, but that's sloppy and looks like doo-doo. So what I chose to do is maybe you've seen the Vortex um, dope disc. So instead of paying money to have a company do it, I started thinking, how could I do it? Well, there's a guy on YouTube. I'll link his video below. You, sir, are R.A. Saint, and I thank you very much because I know how to use Word, but you save me a lot of trouble. But anyway, Microsoft Word can get you this. Very, very easy. Took me like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. And I've got four of them for different loads. So basically, you just follow it. Microsoft Word. He shows you how to do the tables, all that. All you have to do is put it in Streelock Pro or Streelock or whatever you use. Uh, apply ballistics. Anyway. And just copy the tables over. Uh, I did a 143 ELDX for hunting. 140 ELD match. 147 grain ELDM. And a 140 Hornady Black Botel Hollow Point. Which is the cheap stuff that's still pretty good. So anyway, the reason I did four of them is... Really because I shoot all different types of ammo. And as you can see... If I go from, let's say, 800 yards with a 147 grains, that's a uh, vertical MOA adjustment of 20.7. I go down to, let's say, uh, 140 grain boat to all points, you're looking at 22, almost 23 compared to 22.7. So, you know, I don't want to, especially hunting with a 143 grain, I don't want to miss a animal because I'm... Um, Trying to look it up on my phone, and this is just a little cheat sheet, a little dope disc. So anyway, all I did, followed his video, went to the library, saved it as a Word file, emailed it to myself, uh, went to Staples. They printed it out on cardstock. Wouldn't recommend that. I would actually do regular paper and then get the heavy laminate. This is cardstock and the medium laminate. If you get the heavy laminate, it will uh, be about the same but you may not get little air bubbles around it because it's thinner. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll roll in a picture at the end of, after I've cut it out in this um, lens cap. And uh, hopefully that'll help you guys. Uh, definitely nice little hack there, save you some money. If I would have done four of these, it would have cost like 45, 50 bucks. This costs $4.50. 450. I can just run back up there and do it again if I develop a new hand load or whatever. So it's super easy. And you could, that, that was per sheet. So you could probably fit 15 on there. I don't know. If you have different um, rounds, you could do like if you had 308, 65, whatever, 223. So anyway, hope this helped y'all out. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe if I uh, did. And I uh, hope I save, hope I'll save you some money and some trouble. The more you like, share, and subscribe, the more it drives me to actually film some videos since YouTube is uh, a commie whore and won't pay me anymore. So anyway, I uh, love you guys. See you next time. Thanks.